Hi, today I'm at the Seaton Trail, a 13 km trail that weaves along West Duffins Creek, north of the village of Whitevale. This orange flower is spotted jawweed. It's a trumpet type flower, so it's excellent for insects but also hummingbirds as well. This area has some still water and a, a running creek over here, so it's a, an ideal habitat for hummingbirds. If I see one, I'll scream, but they're kind of small, so I don't think I'll be able to film it too efficiently. Find a welcome in the wild. It's I'm glad that this trail is heading into deeper forest now. In the shade here, it's much cooler. We're in the peak of summer right now, and I've just had to go through some really high overgrown grass in the blazing heat. So yeah, much cooler in the shade. I hope to find a welcome in the wild. Cause it's open and free. And it's waiting for me You can never be lost or found When you're taking the long way round Nothing is guaranteed So I'll see where this pathway leads I'm about halfway along the first stretch of the Seaton Trail now, just north of the village of Whitevale. The waterfall behind me is really loud, so I've moved a bit further away. Anyway, I'm going to stop in Whitevale, have a little bit of something to eat, continue along the trail a bit longer, and see how far I can get. Needs to be reconciled because I feel that I'll be welcome in the wild. I believe that I'll be welcome. Over the ocean and into the land Where humanity shows its true face Cause it's open and free and I'm now in Whitevale Park which is at the end of the first stretch of the Seaton Trail It's a point to point trail which means once you get to the end you have to walk back to the beginning again which means for me the trail is going to be twice as long as it's supposed to be so I'm going to end it here and I'll pick up the trail again another day and continue this video. Nothing is guaranteed So I'll see where this pathway leads And I'll go where I like this style And hope that I will be welcome in the wild I hope that I'll be welcome in the wild Okay, so I'm back for day two of my hike along the Seton Trail. Today is super hot. It rained last night. Mosquitoes are going to be pretty rampant. So I brought spray for a change. Everyone keeps teasing me for not bringing spray. Well, here we go. Lots and lots of spray. Yeah, it's super hot, so let's see how far I can get today. With it being summertime, bird spotting is all the more challenging because of the increased tree cover. But you don't always have to be able to see the bird to know what it is. And the birds I can hear in the background are, are very common in this part of the world. They're black-capped chickadees. Something has them very excited because they're all, they're all chattering away. This is my favourite part of the trail. It's just so much more expansive. Much quieter. It started to rain <laughs> quite badly, so I don't know whether to continue on or start walking back. I have no coats or anything. 
despite what I may have led you to believe from the content of my videos, I'm not completely insane, and I did check the weather forecast before I left, and there was a 10% chance of rain at 2 o'clock. It's uh, like 5 minutes to 2. I had another piece of feedback from one of my viewers, this time Penny. She said I should try to take more advantage of my dry, sarcastic British wit. I'm not quite sure how I would do that, but I can tell jokes. Here's one for you. What's brown and sticky? A stick. That fell a bit flat, didn't it? Let's try that again. What's brown and sticky? A stick. So I think the rain has stopped. It's still a little bit cloudy, but for now, the rain has stopped. That was a little bit of drama, wasn't it? Stop that. <laughs> the Seaton Trail is named after a planned community. It was planned in the 70s to be called Seaton and, and built in this area. My understanding is that building has only just begun and there's opposition to it, especially uh, a local airport. So the question then is, what is the community of Seaton named after? And I haven't been able to find out for sure. I can only guess. My guess is that it was named after Thomas Seaton Scott, a British man born in Birkenhead in 1826. He was an architect who moved to Montreal and he's had a lot of influence on the architecture in Canada. He's responsible for Union Station in Toronto, Bonaventure Station in Montreal, uh, one of the wings of the Parliament buildings in Ottawa, uh, amongst others. He's, he's worth looking up, Thomas Seaton Scott. So I'm almost at the end of this stretch of the Seaton Trail, which ends at Taunton Road. What you have noticed, compared to my previous videos, is there's not as much wildlife to be seen, especially at this time of year, on the Seaton Trail, where there's a lot more leaf coverage in the trees. But that's okay. This trail, as you might be able to tell, is more about the challenging terrain. And just the, the beauty of the landscape. There are birds, I've seen woodpeckers, and uh, more common backyard birds. Robins, a lot of chickadees, but there's also been a few panoramas which are uh, not as common in some of the places that I've hiked close to the city. This view is one of the reasons that this is my favourite uh, stretch of the trail. The sky is a little bit ominous and I feel like I've already pushed my look once today, so as you can hear from the traffic I'm near the end of the trail. I'm going to turn back at this point and I guess a third day to finish the third section of the Seaton Trail. Remember how they used to introduce each day of Big Brother? Day three in the Big Brother house. If you watched it in the UK in a Geordie accent, day three. Well, it feels a bit like that to say day three of my hike along the Seaton Trail. Hopefully, today I can finish it. It's longer than I remembered, and filming makes it take much longer. Anyway, I'm at uh, a bit of a lookout area right now, having just climbed a whole bunch of stairs on a metal staircase.
This is a female wood wasp, which is currently laying eggs under the bark of this tree. After about two years, the pupae will emerge. So I'm nearing the end of this video and the Seaton Trail, so let's recap what I did. Day one started off, off Highway 7 at the Northern Trailhead, and we made it as far as the village of Whitevale, where I stopped for something to eat and kind of decided to call it quits after a long day. Day two, we continued from Whitevale Park, and we made it as far as Taunton Road, just after that lookout area where the weather started to turn and I got caught in the rain. Day three, which is almost coming to an end now, we left off from around Taunton Road, and I'm now approaching the Grand Valley, which is near the end of the trail. It's been an enjoyable three days. Not much wildlife, as I mentioned earlier, but some nice lookouts. Um, trail follows West Duffins Creek for most of its length, and it's, it's quite clean water to, compared to some of the other creeks that I've walked along. If you watch my last episode of the Taylor Massey Creek, not so clean. If you've watched this video this far, congratulations, you're hardcore. Much longer than my usual videos. But since you're hardcore, I have a request. Please, your comments, thoughts, feedback is much appreciated. Probably the most fun part about doing this is responding to people's feedback in the, the following video that I make. Ideas for places for me to hike, any, any general feedback, much appreciated. So I'll see where this pathway leads And I'll go where I like this I'm walking past an off-leash dog park now, which tells me this is the end of the trail. In the wild Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my Seaton Trail hike video. If so, please like on Facebook, share with your friends, please subscribe on YouTube. I'm trying to get to 10,000 views, I'm at about 4,000 right now, so your support is much appreciated. If you click on that icon there, you'll subscribe to my channel and get alerts on YouTube. Thanks for watching and please check out my other videos. Over the ocean and into the land where humanity shows its true face Cause it's open and free And it's waiting for me